This is Ben McGahee with Yammy Chess. I'm going to be your math teacher today. Yammy Chess is the math learning aid based on classic chess that helps students in math and science education for school. In this lesson, we will learn about patterns and sequences. Now, patterns are, uh, are objects that come in a certain order. Sequences are like patterns, but just involve um, numbers only. They go in a certain order. <clears throat> so this lesson will teach you how to um, order and structure um, objects and numbers and learn about what um, objects and numbers come in the future based on what's given. So if we look at this pattern with the stars, we have a, a yellow star, then a blue star, then a yellow star. So what color star would come in this pattern? So if you guessed it right, it would be the blue star. So we go yellow, blue, yellow, blue. So that is the pattern or the order in which those stars appear. Okay, so now let's look at what we have here is um, a grid of nine squares with some red dots. And let's see if we can detect a pattern. So in the first row, we see there's one dot, and then we have two dots, and then three dots. So it goes one, two, three. And then in the second row, we have two dots. And then we have one, two, three, four, four dots. And then the next row we go one, two, three, four, five, six, six dots. So it looks like we're counting by twos. And then in the third row we have one, two, three dots. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, six dots. And so if we're, it looks like we're going by threes this time. So six plus three is nine. So we should have nine dots all together. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine. So we should have nine dots. And then here is another pattern with the days of the week. We go Monday, then we skip Tuesday, we go Wednesday, and then we skip Thursday. So what would be the next day? in the um, in the pattern it would be Friday so we skip every other day Monday skip Tuesday then it's Wednesday skip Thursday and then we get Friday and now let's move on to some sequences which are patterns that just involve the numbers only so here, it looks like we do 5, 10, and 15. So it looks like we're just counting by 5s. So what's the next 5 after 15? Be 20. And then if we count by another 5 with 20, we get 25. And then the next sequence, we start with 7. And then we have 6. And then we have 5. So it looks like we're counting down by ones. So we're going to have uh, five. One less would be four. Then we count down one more, it would be three. Count down one more, it would be two. So this would be like a countdown sequence. And it's very common when you're doing countdown sequences before a um, space shuttle is about to launch when they do the... 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, blast off. So you'll see that uh, countdown sequence is done. So those are just a few patterns and sequences um, examples that we have worked on. And what I'm going to do is give you some problems for you to try on your own. So for these three 
uh, problems, fill in the missing items for each pattern or sequence. And so in the first problem we have given two numbers. We have 4, 8, an unknown number, then we have 16, and then an, another unknown number. So you want to find those two unknown numbers in the sequence. In this pattern we have two bars that are colored with red and white. So figure out what kind of bar do we have that will fit this pattern. And then the third problem we have a pattern with letters and grid. And so we have in the front row a, B, C, then we have D, G, then you fill in the missing letter, and then we have K, missing letter, and S, so you need to find those two missing um, letters. And I'll give you some time to work on that. Feel free to pause the video. You can rewind if you're not, um, if you want to go back and review what patterns and sequences are. And then we'll go over the answers. Okay, so let's go over the first one. Uh, this one says 4, and then we have 8, and we have 16, which is later number. Um, so we know from these two numbers that are gone right next to each other, 4 and 8, it looks like we're counting by 4s. So we have 4, and then 8, and then another 4, 8 and 4 is 12, 12 and 4 is 16, and if we add another 4, we get 20. So it looks like our missing numbers are 12 and 20 for this uh, sequence. And the second problem, we have a pattern. with We have a red bar that has a uh, white stripe in the middle. And then the second bar, we have more white uh, in the center and on the left side with a little bit of red. So it kind of covers um, two out of the three parts, because this is divided in three parts. So we have two parts are white, one part is red. And so the last one would be a bar. Last one would be a bar that's completely white. So that would complete the pattern. Now for the last one, it's kind of a little tricky, but um but yeah, this pattern with letters, we see that we have A, B, C, so one comes right after the other, and then we have D and then G, so we skip around a little bit, so let's we'll see if we can see the order, D, E, F, G, so that's a G, and um, so it looks like we skipped two letters, E, F, G, so maybe the next one would be to skip two more, H, I, skip these, and so J looks like the missing letter. So it looks like we skip two, go to the next one, D to G, and then skip two more, H and I, and then we go J. So J, J would be the missing letter. And then we have K, and then we have a missing letter, and we have S. So let's just count the letters here. We have K, L, M, N, O. P, Q, R, S. So it looks like we have to skip more than two letters going from K to S. So let's see how many are between 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, so eight, and we have two of those. So half of that would have to be four. So we could do one, two, three, and then four. One, two, three, four. So it looks like every fourth letter. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and then we hit four. So see the pattern? We go K, okay. we skip we skip these letters, L, M, and N, then we go to O, and then we skip these three letters, P, Q, R, and then we go to S. So the missing letter has to be O. So you have K, O, S on the last row. A, B, C, D, G, J, K, O, S. So let's check the answers. Yep, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. Red, two parts red, one part right, two parts white, one part red, and then we have all white for the bar. And then we have our A, B, C, D, G, J, K, O, S for our pattern letters. So this is Ben McGahey, and I want to thank you for watching this lesson on patterns and sequences. Um, please stay tuned for more lessons on yammychess.com. Have a great day.